What is going on everyone? KM Dolph back for your weekly dose of Transport Fever 2's River Dream series. Now we're picking up where we left off last episode. Uh, we're here in Liamsville today and I'm gonna quickly just do a little maybe do a little something something here. Is that uh Yeah, that looks kinda cool. There you go. Fix something already. Uh, today, what we're going to do is continuing from last episode, where we built this uh, gigantic monstrosity, we're going to try and get these foods up and running. Uh, that's going to involve us going back over here to David W. Town and doing some bits and pieces over here. I might even organise some food to get over here to Evans. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to do that because they've got their own foods over there. So I'm not going to bother. We're just going to worry about David W. Town. Once the food starts making some money here, it should start generating... Oh, hello. Ben's tarpaulin trucks. Ooh. Side stacked. Ooh. Exciting stuff. Uh, yes. What it should hopefully do is it should start building up David W. Town a bit more, uh, which should also encourage Liamsville to upgrade a little bit more, make some more money, and then what we can do in turn is uh, once this starts all making money and people start coming to and from, uh, we should then be able to hopefully extend the rail network out to Trostonwald. So that way then I can get food out to both Trostonwald and to uh, David W. Town, which would be great. It will also help me fix up this station, which I realise I stuffed up when I first made it. Because uh, I've got freight on one side, passenger on the other. So when this becomes a two-lane street, this is going to have to be rebuilt. But we'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, but for now, guys, let's jump into today's episode right after the intro. It's the okay, just like that, back from the intro. Now, I'm pretty sure... Last episode, no, I did not start building train. Apparently, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. But that's all right. Uh, we're going to have to look at something in a um, uh, freighting capacity. We need something that carries... Oh, hello. Those are not overly expensive, and they carry both grain and the foods. Oh... These also carry grain and the foods. It's an all-purpose wagon. They only go 47k an hour, which is problematic, to say the least. Whereas these do 97k an hour, and they're almost double the price. Uh, the question I have at the moment is, what are these trains' top speeds? How fast do you go? 64 kilometres an hour. Okay, so yeah, I need something that picks up a little bit. So we're going to have to go for these these little fellas here. One, two, three, four, four, four in the interim. I mean, I've already got not enough money for this, and that's fine. I can I can live with that. So I've got no diesel and no electric yet. That's fine. I can handle that. Then I need something that is not horrendously expensive, but can do 60-something kilometres an hour. I mean, I could stick one of them on, but that just seems... Stevenson Loco. That one. That one. That one. And that one. I mean, I would probably would go with the planet, because the planet seems like the thing to do. Mediocre, but that's fine. And all I need is 1.3 million dollar redos, and I can literally start this thing off. It will take a couple of runs for it to do anything spectacular. But um, if I hit the afterburners real quick, you reckon I could get up to 1.3 million dollar redos? I don't know. Let's find out together. It's going up. It's probably not, because here comes the end of the month, and... Eh. Still going up. Camel. Still going up. 
Still going up. It's going to take me a while, but I reckon it's going to get there. That's not bad. Oh, it's just jumped back down to 870,000. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We got, we got movement. Come on. Get up there. This is the one thing I do hate about early game. Is the simple fact that it takes forever to get any money together. Now, I mean, I could just simply throw in a bloody... Uh, a loan from the... From the dollary man, but I'm not going to do that. Because that just seems like a, a stupid thing to do. Earnings are falling through the wayside. Money's coming back up again towards that million dollary mark. Here we go. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. This is what we want. Yes. Come. Come, come, come. Give me that good, good. Give me that money. I want to try and get this purchase done before the end of the finance... Oh, before the end of the calendar year. Because then we can move on to bigger and better things. So, two things I will have to build once this does its bit. I will have to build a truck depot down here in front of um, David W. Town. So that uh, the Honourable Mayor David W. G'day, David. Uh, can get the foods out to his peoples. Which is uh, always ideal. Oh, come on. I am so close. 1.28. I want to do this as part of today's episode. Let me do it. I want to do it. Come on. Get up there. Only another set. No. Oh, come on. Only $100,000 to go. Come on. Get me up there. Hello. Oh, hello. We got new... Got new trains and, and new bits. Not that I'll be able to afford these anytime soon. But that's alright. Alright, we're back down to 1.1 million. We need to get back up here. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get it quick. Get it. Get it? Got it. Good. Alright, we need a new line. We need to go from you out to you. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, David, oh no, wait, I've got to do it in caps. David W. Food. David W. Food. Yeah, there you go. Go with that. Why not? Alright, and here's our new Fandangle train. I like it. It sounds cool. It's got wagonage. And now with a bit of luck, this station's going to start filling up like no man's business. There you go. That's all well and good. Now, the one thing I will also have to worry about is uh, I'm going to have to put you in reverse keys. There you go. Now you can come in here and you can actually collect this and take it with you. Yes, you can. Right. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm going to need some sort of um, uh, truckery, truckery depot. So, whereas I can pick up all this, this stuff. No, I don't want that side. I want the other side, thank you. Because, unfortunately, I am going to have to build it over here. This is the, sh this is the crappy part. The even more crappier part is that I haven't really got the money to be doing this at the moment. Is that really the only option I've got for a truck stop? Yes. Yes, it is. Hopefully somebody at some point on the Steam store will give me something. And that'll be great. Oh, look at that. You got 20 on board. Here, giddy up. And look at that. Automatic... Automatic tarpaulinage. In 1913. Well, that's glorious. I mean, he's going to struggle like no man's business getting up that hill, but never mind. I just need to start getting some money in because I'm now making negative one million dollar earnings. Come on, we've got to start making some coin here. Let's uh, speed the speed the game up a little bit until we can uh, get some things happening. There you go, train's taken off after him. He's uh, 
There you go, he's hurtling through the tunnel at 30k an hour. These trains are going to have a really hard time keeping up with this. Because he does a max speed going up a hill of not a hell of a lot. But that's alright. He only just needs to start making me some money in the interim. So what we'll do is we'll duck over here, we'll watch him come through this station and hurdle his way down. Ah, see, he gets up to 52 along the straight. That's not terrible, he just can't go up hills. That's the crappy part, is that he cannot go up hills to save his life. And all the wonderful people over here in, in uh, Liamsville can bear witness to this... Uh, Glorious train that it is. As it does its thing and makes its way down the new line. And there you go. Right, and he'll do his thing. He'll run down here. Start dropping off foods. Or grains, anyway. There you go. That's going to rock that. Rock and roll that one. He can't go anywhere because there's a train at the bottom of the hill. Because I'm a goose and did not build a... Uh... I mean, I can fix that quite easily. I can sit here and go... ah ha ya Because you are going to need to get up that hill, Sunshine. Oh, that's good. Now you can get up the hill. You can venture your way around there, and you can follow after him, and you're not going to be that slow. Because you're going to get up to speed there. Oh, that's as good. There you go. First cab off the rank, and we're doing all right. Welcome to December of 1913. It is now a new year. And now we've got even bigger trains than we did before. These trains don't get any smaller from this point on. But they do get incredibly more expensive. Right, and what we've got down here is ridiculousness. Because no train on earth can keep up with this. There you go. Get your tarpies up. Now I wonder, if I wanted to manage this vehicle right, and I wanted to do a little bit of it, an edit, and I wanted to put maybe something with a bit more, a bit more oomph a -dumpf, what if I wanted to put a saddle tank in there? I'm going to need a million dollar reduce. The train does not have a locomotive. Well, I mean, you do. If I get rid of you... And then I want to put this little cabbie tank on there. Okay. So it's going to have good... Um, it's going to have all the goodness. I just need another $300,000 redos to make this happen and make the train a little bit faster. And then we can upgrade and things will be glorious. The only thing I haven't done yet is... Uh, oh, I've got to do the truck depots, don't I? Yes. I must do the truck depots. So what I'm also inclined to do very quickly is going into the platforms real quick. Is giving this station a little bit more... Right. You will connect onto there, and you will connect onto there. Right. So now, you should have no issue. You can just sit there and be full, like, all the time. Worst case scenario, I can build a little bit out that side. And that's fine. Alright, let's do this. Let's build this gigantic piece of monstrosity that the world is going to want me to build. There you go. You can have that. Uh, we're going to need a bit more cargo space. So we're going to come out that way. And we're going to come out that way. Right. Now we need to make some sort of a, a drop-off point for the foods. And we are probably going to go... What are we going to do here? We're going to go... We're going to go haya, And then we're going to come into this little cheeky lane here and go... ah ya We're going to have two drop-off points. And that's going to be awesome. Right, the next thing we need to do is we need to make a line. And uh, this is going to be the David W. Food Delivery. 
David W, food delivery. And there you go, just like that. So David W, food delivery. Uh, we click on that, and then we go over here, we find that one, and then we find this cheeky little bugger here, and then and then you're just going to do some sort of a stupid loop-de-loop -loop thing and come back along the main strip. I mean, whatever. I mean, I don't really care that much. It's, uh... It is, as they say in the biz, what it is. Alright, buy a vehicleage, and we're going to need something that's just, you know... You know. That takes all cargo. I mean, that just seems stupid not to use one of them. Uh, well, what we'll do is we'll just put one on for now because there's only one train. And that can go on the David W. Food, food Deliveries. And that's you done. Yes, indeedy do. Now, he's up and off and away. There you go. This is still doing its bit. 227 bits of David W. Food. This thing's never going to run out of food. Right, where's my train? That's what I want to know. Where's my train? There it is. Did you pick anything up yet? Nah, of course you didn't. Productions. It's because you got no productions, mate. You need productions. You need more oomph. It's all well and good to just keep bringing 20 bits of food down, but you need more. You need more. You need to be able to carry more than that, sunshine. Right, so if I go into the edits, and I do this one, and I want that saddle tank, and then I want to chuck an extra couple of cargo bits on there, that puts it up to 30, that puts it up to 40, but that's a $2 million train. It's a lot of money. This is still going to cost me $915,000 reduce, so there you go. I think the only thing I could probably do at the moment is maybe clone this train. Should I clone it? I think them. Well, no, because that train cost me $1.3 million to begin with, so good luck to you. That's all right. It's extra income. It's putting money into the food processing plant, so it's fine. There you go. You do your passenger bits, and that's all good. Now, the only other thing that we could do for the moment... Well, actually, there's not a hell of a lot we can do for the moment, is there? I've got roads that come out to here. I've got an oil refinery I can't do nothing with. That turns crude into oil. And then I've got oil that turns into fuel, but I've got no oil. Which means I can't get anything into Liamsville. But, you know, I mean... Whatever, that's that's fine. We'll worry about that later. Then we've got Evansville over here, who wants food. Who has no connection to any other township, as I've just realised. Well, that's a bit dumb. Why do you have no connections? What happened to your connections? Maybe we should, uh... Maybe we should do a quick, uh... Quick one of these ones. And go... Hey, buddy. I noticed that you haven't got much in the ways of, uh... I noticed you haven't got much in the ways of roadage. Okay. Well, that's a hell no. That's also a hell no. All of this is one gigantic hell no. That's because you're coming up like that. Oh, okay. But well, what if, and hear me out, like what if we did this? And we went... A boom, 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 boom. A bang, a bang, a bang, a bang. It's going to cost me 79,000 quid, but whatever. Why are you going to cost that much? Oh, because you want to dig your way through half the bloody map. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. I can dig that. There you go. Now you've got... Now you've got all kinds of uh, nonsense going on here. And at least now your people can move and do bits and bobs. 
I mean, this might all, this might almost be worth doing another train line. Only problem is Gresham doesn't have anything that I need. Although Gresham's got oil. Gresham has got oil. That's interesting. There's oil and there's logs, but the problem is the logs, the logs have got to go, I don't know, some stupid way. There's more logs. they got to go out here. Well, no, they've got to come out here first, and then they've got to go there just to get me tools. Well, that's just dumb. We're not doing that yet, are we? No, sir. No, we are not. Although, the wonderful people of... Uh, Twenty kilometer in limit. Yeah, see, I hate that. Just upgrade that, please. Hey, hey. There you go. These can. You guys can all dart back and forth now, and that'll make you happy. If only for a little while. At least you'll be happy. Uh, okay, so back down here, real quick. What do we got? That's a. That's a passenger train doing its bit. That's a delivery truck not being able to do nothing because nothing's getting dropped off because I may have overshot my expectations on this. What do you got? 21 passengers. I don't even know where my train is anymore. Yeah, so you don't make production until you start getting over 20 bob. Oh, I should have thought about that a bit better. Never mind. Should have just gone with the passenger alternative and just built a passenger line out to Trostenwald. Ah, well. You live and learn. In some cases. There you go. At least you're making money. Could be worse. You could not be making me money and then I'd be even more upset. Alright, let's watch this come down here and let's see if it does anything. Yeah, see? No productions, mate. There's just no productions. You can't do much without productions. But the map does look brilliant. The water looks lovely. The hills look lovely. Everything looks lovely. Alright, let's see what this does. Does this mean you're going to do anything for me? Or are you just going to continue to sit there and do nothing? Righto. There you go. Drop all that off. Yeah. There's no shipment. You're not giving me nothing. Oh my god, I got a piece of food. Holy crap. Isn't that amazing? There you go. I got a whole two pieces of food. It's all happening, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. So that's all happening. Bit by bit. After burners again, so we can try and make some more money. Again, this is why I hate the early part of this game, because there's... Only a couple of options for lines and bits and pieces, and yet at the same time you can't make any money. You need to be making some money or else you're not going to go very far. Let's zip on back over to David W. Town. See how this is transpiring. 16 passengers waiting. 383 bits of food. Yep. I need to upgrade that locomotive first. There's no point putting extra wagons on him because he's not going to be able to pull them. So the point of this story is to get that on there and upgrade that loco. Loco needs upgrading. But I'm not taking out a loan to do it. I refuse, point blank. Come on, get up that hill, sunshine. Autosave's kicking in. Thank you, autosave. Should have waited for a bit of extra money so I could put the stronger tank engine on there. But anyway... There's no point in me sitting here quabbling over the uh, wrong decisions because it's not going to get me anywhere. 
But here we go. Still take another 20 bits over. Station's filling up faster than you can throw a stick at it. Alright. It's alright. As long as we're making some profit, then I'm happy. And this time we'll be bringing some food back. Oh, hello. See, if these things didn't cost so much money, we wouldn't have this problem. But the game is too expensive. Here we go, let's fly over here. That was horrible. I apologise for that. And here we go, let's follow... Oh, I just ran over a deer. Oh dear. That guy hasn't got a care in the world, does he? Alright, drop that off. Drop all that off. There you go. Get all that kit on there, and then whack in some foods. Oh, look at that. He's taken four foods. He's taken foods back. He's taken foods back. This makes me happy. Oh, yes, it does. All right, now we're up to seven foods. Love it. Shipments at 19. All right, so this is just going to be a slow process. After burners again. Off goes him. In comes him. He got 20 passengers on board. That's getting better slowly. That mean you got 21 on board? Yes, you do. Full trains, what we like. Beautiful. Alright, what's going on down here? 24 passengers. Some left over. We like that. And uh, I've got a very full station. Yes, I do. But that's okay. Alright, so. The end goal at the moment, as I've said, is to change this tank engine. Change this to that tank engine that I want. So in order to do that, I forget how much I need. So we're going to go look at it again real quick. I need $907,000. So I am $60,000 away from this goal. I am now more than that. Oh, I got it. I got it. You beauty. So now, this little happy tank engine is going to go a hell of a lot faster. Have a look at this. Yeah. He does 64 k's an hour, just like his brethren. Oh, we like that. We like that. I am so happy with that. Let's go and watch this come in through the station here. Because this is going to look amazing. And then that's going to do us for today. We can continue this in the next episode. Because as I've said in previous episodes to this, I'm trying to keep these to under 40 minutes an episode. Preferably around that half an hour mark, like we're doing right now. So, uh, while we wait for that train, guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode. Make sure you leave a like. Uh, if you haven't already, put a comment in the comment section. Throw your suggestions for the series into the comment section. If there's something you'd like me to do, chuck a comment in. You want something named after you, chuck a comment in. Uh, like and follow me on Facebook, as always. And subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And click that like button and the notification button so you can keep up to date with all things KM Dolph. And as my happy little saddle tank. Look at that. That looks amazing. Little saddle tank. Let's go watch him go into the station because that's always fun. Uh, as that happens, I'm going to quickly zoom around and do this one. That looks nice. Here we go. Get some afterburners. Afterburn. There we go. And boom. I think that's a very, very cute little saddle tank engine. For as cute as a steam engine can be. Here we go. Watch this. Look at all this food going back. Look at all this food going back. Oh, we've actually got tarpaulin trucks. We're taking back 10. That's so good. Now, what do you reckon? What do you reckon my chances are before we go? Before we go. You reckon I could shove one more, one more wagon on? Nah. 
No, I, I reckon we can get one more on before we go. Come on. Help me do it. Help me do it. Help me do it. 160,000. Need to get up to 285. Come on. Come on. Nah. It ain't going to let me. That's alright. We'll do that in the next episode. We got one happening for now, so that's fine. Let's go watch him come into David W. Town and then that's it. No, we'll watch something come into David W. Town regardless. Uh, yes, guys, as I said, thank you, for, thank you for watching. Like, follow, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, everything like that. And uh, as this train rolls into the station, guys, uh, I will see you for the next instalment in this River Dream Transport Fever 2 series. Take care. See you next time.